Thank you. Thanks. Alson. Yes, Mr. Roberts? You think I might ask you a few questions? Well, as long as I can continue to work while I answer. Fine. Uh, I've been watching you for a while. So I've noticed. And I've been listening to you talk to some of the others. Now, I get this impression that you're a very intelligent young lady and you're probably well-educated, too. Both are true. Well, if that's the case, then why are you being some kind of a slave for someone like Mitch Lawrence? I am not a slave, Mr. Roberts. I am here of my own free will. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. You're also the only one around here who doesn't look like she's all spaced out. Now, that's got me thinking that maybe Mitch isn't drugging you like all the others, and that's really confusing When me. are people going to stop talking about these non-existent drugs Mitch uses? Look at these people. They are here because of Mitch, not drugs. I mean, take me, for instance. I was a, a fairly aimless person until Mitch started the mission. And then I knew, without a doubt, that my place in life was next to him. Because of Mitch or because he's supposedly teaching the Lord's Word? Both. Yeah, but in what order? Look, Allison, uh, this is all off the record because I'm just a photographer, not a reporter. Now, I know that Mitch can be a very convincing guy. And he's good looking, so I can see how a woman would fall for him. <laughs> like Tina, the lady you fell for? Yeah, okay. I'll be honest with you. The whole reason I came to land you in the first place was to be with Tina, because I fell for her real hard. Is that why you're here? Because you fell for Mitch? Mm, yes. You see, I met him when he was in Statesville, and... I had never met a man like him before. He touched me so deeply. And you've never had any doubts about his sincerity, not while he was in prison or since he's been let out? No, never. Allison, I... I think I saw a trace of doubt in your eye there. No, you didn't. I was, I was just... I was thinking. I, I wanted to be 100% sure of my answer before saying it. And what about his sincerity about Joy O'Neill? Look it. Joy is a victim of her family, of society, not of this family. She was very happy here. She was at peace. I mean, who knows what's happening to her now? Who knows what evil things they're making her say about us? And what happens if it's proven that Mitch is a phony and a fraud? Do you still continue to have your blind love for him? From what I hear about Tina, you'd have to be pretty blind to be in love with her, too. Touché. Look, Allison. Let's just say that I love Tina despite all those things that I've heard about her. Is that how it is with you and Mitch? It wouldn't make any difference to you if he turned out to be the criminal that people say he is. No. I guess it wouldn't. You see, I love him so much that I won't let anything get in the way. And I do believe that he is an extraordinary human being. I would do anything for him. And anything to keep us together. If you'll excuse me, I, I have to check on the other people now. She didn't know who Rafe was. She barely recognized me. She couldn't answer any of my questions. She just told me that none of this was my business and then left with some security guard. A security guard? Did you see what he looked like? Well, no, I didn't pay any attention to him because I was so concerned about Cassie. She was acting so strange. Oh, Delilah, I wish you'd been able to get her out of there. Well, I tried. I really did. But I thought maybe the best thing would be to alert you or her. But do you know why she would transfer her money into a Swiss bank account and, and walk around town with all that money? No, but it frightens me. Somebody better check on that. I'm available, Dorian, if you need me. Thank you, Brad. And thank you very much, Delilah. Uh, we'll keep you informed. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to have to bring you this kind of news. Don't be sorry. I appreciate your help. I really do. Okay. Bye. See you later. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, of course I am. If Mitch could drug Joy, he could also drug Cassie. And talk her into leaving the country and taking all her money along, too. Brad, we've got to do something.
Hello. I have such a bad headache. What? Oh, whatever you injected me with. No, don't tell me it's wearing off already. I'm so depressed, I feel like throwing myself out the window. Hey, Cassie. No, no, sweetheart. No, look, you're much too precious well, to what me. What am I doing in here? Why are you locking me up? Honey, I have wondrous plans for the both of us. <clears throat> Obviously, you need a little booster. Right? No. Please don't give me another shot. No, no, it won't be a shot. Just a little something to calm your nerves. I'll be right back. In about five minutes, you're going to be feeling much better. I don't want to be drink all... anything else. Please get it away from me. Cassie, if you don't drink this of your own free will, I'm just going to have to go get Adrian to make sure that you get it down. Please, make it easier for both of us, okay? Come on. That's a good girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. A little more, a little more. <coughs> Good. Thank you, Cassie. The Lord blesses you, my love. Okay. Now, listen. I'm looking forward to the time, but this won't be necessary, when you'll just really want to be my assistant and my lover. I can't tell you. Right now, I need you to lie back down here. Okay? Lie down. Just let the drug do its magic. That's good. Good, good, good. What are you going to do? Well, I'm uh, going to write a little note to somebody. Something I have to do before we leave town. 